In this video, we will look at the initial setup for a multi-person podcast using the MixPre 3.2 in advanced mode. A typical podcast setup includes a microphone, XLR cable, mic booster, mixer, audio interface, analog limiter, and computer with a digital audio workstation. The MixPre 2 series is a portable mixer, recorder, and USB audio interface featuring onboard adjustable analog limiters, so your podcast setup will be mobile and efficient. Podcasters won't have to worry about gain staging across multiple devices and can focus on content creation while getting great sound. We're using the included USB-C power supply with the MixPre 3 2. I'll power on the MixPre and switch the mode from basic to advanced by going to menu. System. Mode. I'm then going to plug my mic into channel 1. I'm using the Shure SM7B, so we don't need phantom power. The MixPre's cashmere preamps provide plenty of clean gain, so you won't need any additional hardware like a mic booster to drive a low output dynamic microphone. Trim gain is the gain of the isolated channel and is controlled via the channel screen. Fader gain is the amount of that channel sent to the main LR mix and is controlled via the front panel knob. Set the fader gain to unity in the 12 o'clock position. I'll press in on the fader knob, entering the channel screen. When entering the channel screen, trim gain is automatically selected. Use the headphone encoder or the arrows in the channel screen to adjust trim gain to peak around minus 12 dBFS. The meter in the top left of the channel screen can help me check my levels. Exit the channel screen and use the fader to adjust the amount sent to the LR mix. Any additional mics for guests or hosts will follow the same protocol. When switching from basic to advanced mode, ISO channels for track 1 through 3 default to record armed. Enter the unused channel screen and tap the arm button to disarm the channel. This will save card space and make the ISO channels easier to maintain. Entering the channel input and setting it to off will save power. In advanced mode, the channel screen has more options like solo, mute, incremental panning, variable low cut filtering, phase inversion, delay, and channel linking. With multiple hosts or guests, slight pan adjustments can create a sense of space and result in a clearer mix. Pan adjustments can be made in the channel screen. In the record menu, I have the option of recording any combination of the LR mix, linked, unlinked, individually, or not at all. Navigate to Menu, Record, Record LR, and select the option Best for You. The MixPre will default to naming the take MixPre with an incrementing number for each take. To rename a take, tap the current name in the top left hand corner of the home screen. Select the file with the encoder and tap Name, Number, Notes. This screen allows for take renaming, renumbering, and for entry of any additional notes for that take. Takes can be renamed before, during, or after recording. When recording in advanced mode, the MixPre 2 will store the takes as a polyphonic wave file with each take having a unique name and number. A polyphonic wave file is a packaged file containing wave files of the LR mix and all isolated tracks. All files are stored in a larger project folder. Most DAWs and post production software will automatically split the polywave file into separate wave files. The LR tracks will open on tracks 1 and 2, and the ISO tracks will open on concurrent tracks based on how many ISO channels you recorded. WaveAgent is a free program from sound devices that will split polyphonic wave files from the MixPre. Find the link to download WaveAgent in the description box. We'll see you next time for another sound devices tutorial.